You've got to be kidding me. They actually could have Zulu being hatched. If I can actually just zoom this in because I've been eating it over my phone and it's filthy. I don't know how it's still hooding up because it's like damaged. Um, ugh. I'm not kidding. This phone is going to do so much. It's going to break soon. Anyway, um, if you see here, because I'm on Duolingo, right? And I tend to have a bad habit of basically scrolling through all these languages and not even finishing them, even though I did finish um, I did finish those two, but of course there's other lessons I can do, which means I'm not like natively fluent in those languages yet. The thing is, they're having Zulu, which is one of South Africans' languages, that is actually being in the process. And I, and I, and ugh, like Dion, you cannot talk right now, can you? No, I cannot, because, I don't know, I got a little bit carried away. The thing is that I wanted to uh, continue my Haitian Creole after basically my grandfather passed away and the reason why I got inspired to speak both French and Haitian Creole, which is basically um, Caribbean French, is because of how he told me stories of how we actually have ancestors from Louisiana that basically are French. and. You know, he just told me that we d we just have French ancestry, which I thought was really inspiring before he died. Um, that's why I got the French flag, the Quebec flag, and even my French um, Canadian pillow that I designed. Basically, I'm Southern French. You know, the difference between European French and then Canadian French. That makes sense, right? It's like if you have a Mexican, a Spaniard, and like um, a Peruvian, if that makes sense. I'm like the Peruvian of... The French. I don't know. I can't, I can't really explain it. But the thing is, is that um, it is the 8th of August. I decided to go back on Ami um, Amigo. Fuck that site. For my language. Um, on Duolingo, because it's been eons since I've been on here. Maybe just for one day, depending on how I feel. Because I want to get my, my mental state, like, a little bit functioning once again. And what the heck is that? All American summer. Keep your focus on family. Oh, okay, something else. Sorry about that. It's so funny how AB State have their own commercial. The, I thought I could share that. Gobert and Osborne. Huh, interesting. Anyway, um, basically, let me just read this to you before I decided to do another um, Haitian Creole lesson. So, the thing is, this won't be released until near the end of this month, which is on the 25th of August. And South Africa is a diverse country with 11 official... Oh, my Buddha, that's a lot of languages... So Zulu or Easy Zulu is spoken over by 12 million. That's a lot of people. Making it the most widely spoken native language in the country, besides Africans and English, I'm sure. And this beginner Zulu course helps introduce learners to the, to the language's um, click sounds. Oh, that, that'll be fun. As well as familiarize new speakers with Zulu's many noun cases and learn Zulu for free and understand how to appreciate the music, the... What were the heck you call those two words and communicate with uh, family members, etc. So basically, I will be able to learn that in the end of August, which is awesome. So, the thing is, since I do have French blood, right, and it's kind of funny how this is still in beta, because I already did, like, a few Haitian Creole lessons myself, and funny thing is, Haitian Creole is spoken by the, the same amount of speakers as Zulu, so to speak, which is a lot. It may not be that much, but compared to like Icelandic and Welsh or even Irish Gaelic or even in Finnish, that's a lot of people. Like 12 million, that's a handful, right? Because look at the Neverlands, so 17 million people, which is almost that number. So 12 million is not much. Like that's way more than my state, like almost twice the amount. Because we got like seven, we got like a little over 7 million people here. And that's a lot. But yet again, we are a big state, so it makes sense. So the thing is, basically, I'd be learning about food. Um, Christina, I really want to continue learning this language. And it's not really difficult if you know, like, a little French. Because it's really similar to the French language. Even though there's a lot of words that are basically not related. It's like if you are basically a Spanish speaker trying to study Portuguese. It's like that. Like, Brazilians can understand, like, Hispanic speakers, right? Or Spanish speakers, but... It's not vice versa. It's like the Dutch can understand the Germans, but the Germans can understand the Dutch. And I speak a little bit of German myself. Um, you know, ich spreche sie dann ein wenig Deutsch, aber die Probe ist, dass ich 
ik geen um, expression on uh, Netherlands, so to speak. It's like, you know, it's like speaking German with an Arabic um, type of um, accent. Like, you do the kh sound, right? It's, it's weird. That's what I like about the Dutch language. So, other than that, I'm just watching Shrek in the background because it is cat day. How does that? How does that? And oh, yeah, the do it some. It's a horn! Yeah, they're supposed to be German, I think. I don't understand how a blind mouse can actually light up. Um, um, what the hell is it called? A small. Where the. The damn thing is, not not cigarette lighter. I don't know. He's such a niche. I'm getting like off topic. So I just want to let you know because I like doing these videos um, at home. After, like I said again, with all the crap has been going on with me, I'm still trying to hang in there mentally and spiritually and done stuff for my cute t um, t Thai drawings and Digimon. I have a crush on him. I do. He's hot. Um, sorry. I. I really want a boyfriend, kind of, but in an emotional way. Um, Dion, you don't know what you did for. It's in the kitchen. Oh yeah, this is gonna take me a while. Hold on. Okay, so basically, a may just started off with this, I suppose, because in the past, just so you know, this is how much I care about languages. I actually tried to study Mandarin on this notebook to learning Ukrainian in this notebook. You could definitely tell that was a year ago, right? Sucks I don't remember my Ukrainian at this point. And even my artist Gaelic as well. That was back in March. Basically kind of like, I'm thinking like right after the Ukrainian Russia war happened. So that's basically dedication of how much I care about languages. So other than that, even though the Haitian Creole flag is like blue, white, and well, it's red. So I guess I can count. Let me actually get my, um my magical <gasps> damn where do you know where you put it did you my border probably moved it my my favorite pen damn it what dot mon hold on oh well i'm screwed i had to buy another pack so i could use this blue pen that isn't that good of ink oh my brother likes to move my stuff sometimes um i'm not sure if you'll be able to see me studying um the language but you could at least like maybe hear the sound as I actually write it down this is how I would um, study my languages so to speak so basically the header I'll put in the, the date you know um no yeah the date and of course the title that I'd be doing the lesson and then on the left side it would be the time of how long I actually study I basically done this well Almost like every other day for who knows how long over a year, which is why I actually developed the skill. I want to say a taunt because, well, maybe it is a taunt because some people don't have like the mental um, stability to actually learn all these languages. So, just to start off, the, the first word is lit. Lit, which basically means milk. Kind of how you say it in French, lit. But the thing is, there's no other T and an E in the end. Oh yeah, I need a hero playing in the background. I'm probably gonna get copyright if you hear Shrek 2 in the background. It's one of my favorite movies. Let's see, so it'll be day. Yeah, I might as well just start over. Number one, and let's see, Dion, today's the 8th of August. Put the year below it, and the time right now is 1:39. Eleta. Same repeats of com I hate when they show the fucking same repeats. Part my language. Ugh, it drives me nuts sometimes. So for let the accent mark is facing to the right direction. Okay. Let. Monsieur Yontifi. Monsieur which means I am. I'm guessing that. Mm. Mm. So, mm, basically, I'm guessing that's supposed to be like the apostrophe in their language for I'm um, a girl, I, su I, I suppose. So, I thought I can actually just share this just once. I am 
a girl, right? Because in French, you see the shitty, um, um, well, how I would say it's supposed to be fiel, but it's fils, right? I, I like to say, like, in a Canadian French type of, um, because in, in, in Canadian French, there are, like, a half of words that are way different than, um, European French, right? So I'm, like, learning, like, three different dialects here. It's like me trying to understand both British and also English with a little touch of, um, I guess you could say Singaporean English or something. I don't know. That's a handful. I don't know any super <laughs> Singapore English except for la, I think, they add in the end of their sentences. So once again, mm, si on TV. Mm, si on TV. Mm, si on TV. Like you say, I'm. You say, mm, si on TV. It's kind of funny how that works, though. Ah, magnifique. All right. God, this is... Oh, man, I miss my grandfather. It just sucks that... Sorry about this. I might as well just get out of my system. It just sucks that we, my brother and I, we didn't spend time with him that much, so... Okay. Which means I'm eating bread. I just love the little animations and not to mention this um, Muslim girl. It's adorable. Ugh. I just let you know I've been using this site on and off for years. It's it, they, they need to have this in schools and for people that basically cannot like afford like you know, like, having their own, like, cell phones at home to learn these languages or anything like that. This would definitely help if you actually had to go to another country, you can't speak another language. Like, that incident that happened was when I was at the, you know, the family dollar, right? Even though my French isn't, like, I'm, like, semi-fluent in French. I'm not that good, though, because of my depression. I didn't continue studying it. Um... That's probably like, I guess it's like a good like month worth for French that I learned for like two weeks. I can learn French really fast, right? You know, tweet beats. It's just that that woman though, she's a fucking creep because she was stalking me for years around my neighborhood and that's why I had to um, capture her on camera. So, map munchpen. Oh, that's right. M okay, yeah, I. Up. Up means, no, up, no, munch basically means to eat. So, I'm guessing up is is like to be like you're doing something it's like a a verb i probably just do like one lesson i'm not gonna get all this on camera it sucks i don't have more room How much time do I got left? Oh, perfect. Okay, I got, um, let's see, some minutes. I got like, um, no, yeah, um, five minutes, give or take. What much is TV? What button? Okay, this is gonna take some practice. What much is TV? What month? What month? Okay. What much is TV? Because the thing is, you had to say, you had to say it like really, really quick. So, what month, um, daily? What much is TV? What much man daily? It's a little difficult. Hold on. What much is daily? Look, which means, are you, um, what's daily mean? Daily. Oh, daily means rice, huh? Interesting. Are you eating rice? So basically, someone's asking you a question. So, the what is basically you, which means, if I remembered in the French language, right? Because this is French, but it's not French. So it's, I don't know, it's a little weird, right? Um, shit, my friend. Boy, Munfins. Munfins see the train mal veil. Oh, this is really good. Um. I'll oh, suck at blue. I forgot what the heck it was. Oh, I don't remember. Because if you basically. If someone's asking you a question, I could look that up once again. But let me just show the scene very quick. I swear, I never get tired of that. Oh, God. And yeah, that's supposed to be like a French word, by the way. Um. I, I don't remember how, how you say it in the French version, but I'm just going to write it down. Because rap, um, it basically mean, means like referencing to you doing something, right? That's supposed to be, um, i thinking first person, right? No, wait, first person is I, I think second person is you, and then third person is they, if I got that correct. 
pigs in a blanket. Oh man, my mom used to make those all the time growing up. Sorry about them getting flashbacks. Night more! Well, well, later. Yo. Shit, they didn't show it. Not, not anywhere, Pinocchio. <laughs> Doc, you caught it. Blissfully. Okay, that's five in a row. That's cute. Ooh. I guess it means. Oh, I think it's saying ow, right? <laughs> I should know. Will it? Mm, oh, this is something else. I'm drink. I I drink milk. So basically, in French, it'd be um, Gilliam, Gilliam. Oh, headbutting him. That's what he gets. I think it'd be G boy la let, right? Because ma is basic means yourself and then blech. Blech means he's to drink. Why drink alcohol? Let. The let is basically means milk. So basically, he sacrificed himself in order to actually. And now, like. The fairy godmother turning into bubbles, and that's when it turned into a frog. So that's basically the curse. Really sad if you actually ask me. Let me put a line between this. So, I'm actually writing this in my notebook right now. Okay. So, once again. Mbwet. Yeah, yeah, it's like the M is silent. And mbwet. And then, let. Okay. This means I drink milk. But I don't like milk. So, if I mix, if I mix this up. Um, with, if I mix French up with Haitian Creole, I would say, em, um, em, um, wait, no, I hate, yeah, I hate drinking milk, so to speak. Em, no, yeah, wait, em, um, em, this, em, this, it means to, like, taste something. Wait, let, if that makes sense. I could actually just hear that. It gets a little bit more difficult from here, so... Basically, since this is supposed to be three or more, two or more people, um, which I'm guessing this is third person, right? Let months duty, which means they are eating rice. And I love rice, by the way. Depending on what it is, of course. <laughs> I love that character looking handsome. So, let, which means they are. Let munch, which means they're eating. Dili. So let manji. I have to say mons. I like to make. I like to have the e silent. I think, and that's how like. I'm not sure if French Canadians talk. At least that's how I talk, right? Let manji dili. Sounds like I'm speaking Hindi right now, honestly. Even though I do have West Indian descent, which is Jamaican descent, so maybe that's why I like Indians so much. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Oh, so I have to zoom in. My mistake. It's almost over. I might go from a walk after this, and I got my water frozen in the freezer. So, basically, it's amazing. This is, like, the only time that we could see, like, Shrek, Ed, and Fiona as humans before they actually fuse back into, basically, their ogre form. So, Shrek 2 is probably... I think it's the best one, you know, like Shrek 3. They're all good, honestly. The first one... The last one? Oh, poor donkey. And lost this beautiful tail, too. <laughs> basically, um, the last one isn't that good, but it's still a good movie. So basically, Shrek and Jero is good. And I just can actually share me speaking Haitian Creole again for the first time after who knows how long. Uh, but I just want to see Mercy Pekilekele Fiel, um, you know, basically for me, um, teaching you Haitian Creole and hope this was a little bit helpful, at least some words.